Hey you guys, I'm excited to introduce you to Google Jam. It goes with the Jamboard, which we're not going to use. We're just going to use the web version of Jamboard. So if you have a phone or an iPad and you install the Jamboard app, it is a slightly cooler experience, but it just it works great on the browser. It is a Google Doc, just like spreadsheet, slides, all of those things. They save to Google Drive and it's collaborative all in the same way, except it's just meant for like brainstorming, working together in a group. So here's your jam. You're able to select the pen and draw on the page. You can add sticky notes. Now that's how you're going to add text boxes into a jam. If you want an actual text box, sticky note is confusing you, don't worry about it. What you would do is just go use a different product that you do like. So go to a Google Doc or a Google Slides or maybe find, a, do what you want to do in there. The key here is just take a screenshot. So if you know how to do what you want on it somewhere else, PowerPoint, whatever, just take a screenshot of it and you're going to insert that image. So let's take a look. Right, so I have a Google Slides and I wanted to put the quadratic formula in there. I don't know why. And I'm going to take a screenshot. Here we go. And then over in my jam, I'm just going to add an image there. Put my screenshot in. So I can add those things that I might get from other products. If I go and do a Google image search, I can right click on an image. If I copy the image, I can control V paste. And so the only other thing to really know about Jamboard is that there is multiple pages. So if you click on the arrow, you'll go to the next page where you can do something on confidence intervals, statistical hypothesis, null hypothesis, alternative hypothesis, and then I got a billing page here. And so if you just keep keep hitting the right arrow, it just keeps adding pages. So if you need more room, Take more room, make a background that's graph paper if you want it. So have fun, see how your group comes together to explain these concepts and see if you can use Jamboard.